Oh, that is good. Snowball snow. Okay, very beautiful, very good. But now it is time to spend a significant chunk of my time inside today. I've got the books, the iron is hot. We're going to strike right now, like a puma. Let's do it. So I'm going to try to go to my buddy Brendan's house. I don't know how feasible this is actually gonna be, so I'm gonna try to get to the main road first, see if it's actually clear. And if it is, keep going. If it's not, turn right around. Well, I was really looking forward to that little cookout we were gonna have, but I think my life is worth a little more than some good meats. <laughs> So, that was a bust, so instead I'm gonna draw and watch the final hours of GDQ. All right, everybody, that is gonna do it for today's vlog. We'll probably just roll into tomorrow. Here's the finished version of that time-lapse I did the other night. Anyway, time for some Deep Space Nine. Little games done quick. Thank you for watching. Again, waste no time today. It is time to get to work. I'm gonna start with editing. Then we will try to learn music again. Let's do it. All right, that was a good editing session. Now it is time to get to the music session. Let's review what I did yesterday and continue, etc. Let's do this. So yesterday what I was doing was I had one section just for notes. As I was reading the book, I would take notes on things I either didn't know or I thought would be important. And then I had another section with just practical tips. Like I'd write down a chord that sounds like this one, like a major six, it sounds like one of those 20s flashbacks. If you go like. Because the whole point of this is a very practical reason. I need to know how to make certain sounds to make music. That's the whole point of doing any of this though. So. And the book hasn't really gotten too much into the practicalities of everything. Right now it's just getting into like the rules and like the kind of nomenclature and stuff. But it's helped me figure out some things like, oh, so if I play like a C major 7 9 chord, and then I turn that into a minor 7 9, I'm like, where should I go from there? I'm like, well, let's consult the circle of fifths and let's just go to the G, and then to the minor. And let's keep going around the circle. So, that sound you just heard, that is definitely going to be in a song, so. So, so far my efforts to learn some music theory are already paying off. Right now I'm just kind of like in the hopes that let me just learn this stuff and hopefully it'll have some use. Like I don't know what the point of knowing what a tonic supertonic, median. I don't know what the point of knowing what that means yet is, but I'm hoping it will start to become more clear as I just continually osmos the knowledge in. Okay, so that's all she wrote for today. Got lots of work done, very tired, focused the entire time. How many hours was that? I don't know, that was a lot of hours. Anyways, we'll continue again tomorrow, like we always do. Until then.
going. And if it's not, turn right around. Give me one reason to stay here and I'll turn right back around. <laughs> Watch the final hours of GDQ. And it's gonna be a good time. Look how bright the sky is over there. Like that's about what it's supposed to look like. And there's a bunch of lights over there. What a quintessential Thomas Kincaid looking 